welcome to another Sci-Fi Fantasy Saturday. Today we go to the Star Wars universe, and more specifically, Jabba's Palace. This is from Z-Man Games, and if you can see here, it says it is a love letter game. Well, what is a love letter game? Well, love letter is a game. It's a card game. It's a very simple game where uh, you take, um, you have a deck of cards. I'm going to shuffle these up. You know, you're going to have a deck to draw from. You're going to start with a card in your hand. You're going to draw a card on your turn, and then you're going to choose which one of these to play. And you're going to play it for its special ability. Now, you see that there are values on some of these cards. Well, some of these special abilities are uh, triggered by some of these values. You might have a, a conflict, and the higher number will win, a la a game of war, you know, the basic card game. Or it might tell you to search for a certain value or a certain type of character or what have you. So uh, there's a set number of cards in here. Sometimes there are multiple copies of some of these cards. Uh, but the goal of the game is uh, you're trying to get a love letter to the princess. And so the princess will probably be, you know, I think the princess is the highest value in here. But you're trying to get a love letter to the princess. But you're trying to stay in the game because some of these games will knock you out. Uh, it will uh, make you, you know, get rid of a card or say that you automatically lose. And so it's it's kind of a last person standing type game. Uh, but it's basically that simple. You're gonna have you're gonna start off with a card, draw a card, play a card, do its special ability, and then it keeps going around until someone's left with the uh, someone wins. Someone's left with the only card there so love letter has been that this is the basic love letter this is the one that kind of started it all off into a craze of a game because um there's been several different iterations of love letter i have this love letter lovecraft letter which is a it's a love letter game and it's a version of love letter uh and this one um is actually a little bit more involved it, you know you've got some uh you've got this kind of nice packaging of course but you've got uh, so a little bit more in, uh, to this game than the typical love letter. The love letter engine, kind of like the stuff there. The love letter engine is still there, but there's, as with any Cthulhu game, there's there's some there's an aspect of sanity, and you have these you know tokens, these like good nice little poker chips here. So there's a little bit more uh, game to this than your typical love letter, but at its heart, it's still a love letter game. Uh, but it, it's been ported over to uh, just about any number of IPs that are out there. And, I mean, it's, it's almost kind of becoming like a Monopoly type game. When I say that is, uh, you know, Monopoly has been, you know, taken to uh, every you know, city and, and, and different uh, IP that is out there. So uh, Love Letter has done that as well. In fact, I, I'm pretty sure I have... Uh, Love Letter Batman. I'm almost positive I have Love Letter Batman. I can't find it for the life of me. But when you have uh, thousands of games like I do, I'm not. <laughs> you can look me up on Board Game Geek at Nap 16 if you want to see what my collection looks like. But I have literally thousands of games. And uh, it's sometimes hard to find them. I do not know where I did with that one. Anyway, it will show up somewhere. But that's not what we're talking about today. We are talking about Jabba's Palace, a love letter game. Here's the back of the box. So you see uh, it's going to play the same way. You're going to, you know, the, there's cards that have numbers on it. And then there's the, each card will have special abilities. And I imagine you're, it probably plays the same way where you'll start off with a card. You'll draw a card. You'll play it. And then you keep going around until someone uh, wins the game. Although this is a, this is not in basic love letter. This is uh, an extra uh, additional card. So, again... As Love Letter has evolved and gone into different genres and different themes, uh, it has picked up some new mechanics and new cards along the way as well. But enough of all that. Let's get in to this and see if we got a bag there. That's cool. Ooh, very nice. So we've got the um, Star Wars. Look at that. Got the little drawstring bag here. And so that's what's in the bag. And so what we have is we have the rules for it. And Love Letter is the same way. Love Letter comes with a little rule booklet that goes in the bag. And so we got the contents. We got the setup. We got playing the game. It looks like it plays somewhat the same, although those uh, landscape cards, I'm not sure what those do. End of round. Deck runs out. One player left. Starting the next round. 
and winning the game. You're probably going to play multiple games. That's like Love Letter. It, it's like a best, you know, two out of three, three out of five, something like that, is you might, you know, you'll play multiple games of it because it plays really, really quick. Um, and even though this had, looks like it has to add some different cards and maybe it's a few new mechanics, um, I, I got I to gotta believe this plays really quick as well. So here's the character card's effects explaining what they do. So Jabba, of course, this is Jabba's palace. So Jabba is going to be the, the princess or be the high card here. We got Boba Fett, Leia. Look at this. this is good. Lando, Mercenary Chewbacca. R2-D2, look at all these good characters here. And then you have the guard and CP-3PO. Han Solo has no effect when played. He's a zero. Got the, so the Jinda, I think that, that, that's, that special card or that different card is a Jinda. Uh, so that will be a little bit different. And there's your quick reference for playing the game right there. So let's look at the cards here. We got some, ooh, these are nice. And I'm going to put this in Kilroy's Bargains as well. I picked this up for a steal. And, and this is nice. I like these tokens here. Very nice. Look at that. It's kind of cool. And Love Letter, you know, you had the, the hearts. I think those hearts that came with it. Let's take a look inside the bag and see what we got in here. Yeah, you, oh, they had cubes. You didn't have hearts. You had cubes. How cheap. All right, these are cool. like these. like those. All right, let's look at the cards here. And so we've got uh, those are those agenda cards. Maybe that maybe they you draw one of those at the beginning of the round, and that's what you're. Maybe those are set a set of different rules or something. So we've got three different backs to the cards, and these are uh, so these are just player aids. So these tell you all the different um, cards that are in here. So you have two different factions here. And some, I think Batman had that. God, I got to find that. Uh, Batman had that where he had like two different factions. Love Letter, it's all just one faction. You're just in the palace uh, or you're, you're people running around the palace. Uh, here you have like two different sides that that kind of that kind of plays into it. And Cthulhu did that as well. So here are the agenda cards. Uh, so maybe this is... Uh, Maybe sets the 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 goal for the round or something. Highest number in hand wins the round. Highest number, yeah. So maybe these are different goals for the rounds. Those are agendas, so like victory conditions or what, how you win the round. And then here are the cards. So there's Jabba. He's got a special ability. Luke, Rancor, Boba. So there's a couple of Boba Fets. That's cool. So it's again at its heart, it's a very simple game to play. Usually, the guard is you choose another player and guess a number. If they have that number, they uh, in their hand, they, they it's out. So that's why the multiple copies of these come into play. You know, so you know five. There's three fives, so that might be a better number to guess. There's three fours. There's three threes. There's three twos, and uh, so it l lets you uh, guess there what is han solo who's in carbonite if you have this in your hand gain one victory token oh so you get a victory token no matter what so the goal of the game uh, ultimate goal of the game is to win so many victory tokens you're gonna i think there's a set it depends on number of rounds or how many players you have but you'll have those are those are the victory tokens there so that's ultimately what you want to try to get so anyway so that is what you get in uh a plastic container of jabba's palace Looks pretty cool. Uh, again, uh, not a very complicated game, but uh, has, uh, you know, plays very fast. Great filler type game. And uh, thought I'd pick it up since it was uh, on sale. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. That's what I have for you today on this Sci-Fi Fantasy Saturday. Let me know your thoughts on this or any of the other love letter games or that whole universe. Uh, love to hear what you think about it. Take care. Thank you.
Thanks for watching.